Welcome to Adventure Life with Bob, where I'll take you on trips and adventures around the country and around the world. In this adventure, we go to the Corvette Museum in Bowling Green, Kentucky. The National Corvette Museum showcases the Chevrolet Corvette, the only American sports car. The National Corvette Museum opened its doors in September of 1994. Uh, its purpose is to educate audiences on the evolution of the Corvette, again, the America's only true sports car. Our first stop is this hallway where customers are picking up their brand new C8 Corvettes right from the factory. And what visit wouldn't be complete for a Corvette fan than to shop in the uh, gift shop here, pick up a new shirt, t-shirt, or other uh, paraphernalia that shows your true colors as a Corvette fan. The museum takes you uh, through the whole life of the Corvette. The first generation was introduced in 1953 and it appeared at an auto show in 1953 called the General Motors Motorama and that's where it was shown for the very first time. The uh, car was not that great, it had a straight six engine, a solid rear axle and it didn't sell very well but it was made out of fiberglass and it started what became would become one of the longest running models in American history. The Corvette almost was not allowed to uh, be uh, shown at the Motorama because of its emblem, which had an American flag on it. And the legal department said that would not be acceptable. And so in three days, they were totally redesigned and made a new emblem, which looks like this. And each Corvette since then has had a variant of that uh, emblem. In the beginning, it was not known as the Corvette. It started out as the Opal Project, and then became known as the Cougar, and finally they settled on the Corvette, which is uh, a very fast naval warship uh, that they had in World War II. There's some key individuals at uh, Chevrolet that uh, had a role in making the Corvette what it is today. Uh, Bill Mitchell, who was the the chief designer for a number of years, Peter Brock, uh, Larry Sonoto, uh, all had their hand in it. But the main person that made it a true sports car was Zora Zarkas Duntov, the chief engineer for Chevrolet and the Corvette. The museum does a great job of walking you through the history and showing each model of the uh, Corvette. Uh, here you see some uh, C2 Corvettes. This display uh, shows the uh, what would have been the Corvette factory and, and showing some Corvettes put together. And here we see a, a typical uh, what a typical showroom would have been like in the 60s in a uh, Chevy dealer. This display shows some of the more famous uh, Corvettes that were used for racing and made. Uh, Corvette racing history. While we're looking at uh, these, these cars, uh, if you like our video so far, hit the like button and be sure to subscribe to uh, Adventure Life with Bob. When you subscribe, leave us a comment uh, so we can respond back to you. Tell us what you like. Here we're seeing a uh, concept of uh, what the designers thought a future Corvette could look like. Uh, I'm not sure if I particularly like that, but uh, it's interesting. And here we see the last uh, design of the C7, a, a 2019 uh, Corvette. And I have to like the, the C7s because I have one.
This display went through the how they designed the new C8, the mid-engine Corvette, which came out in 2020. Here you see a clay mock-up of the car and uh, some of the changes they made as they came up with the final product. In uh, February of 2014, a disaster struck when a sinkhole opened up under the uh, floor of the Sky Dome of the museum, uh, which caused the floor to collapse. You can see some of the pictures of that uh, in our video. Um, eight rare and one-of-a-kind Corvettes fell into the sinkhole along with some of the exhibits. Causing serious damage. The Corvettes were valued at about a million dollars. Uh, between March 3rd and March 6th, they were able to get five of the Corvettes out. And after they stabilized the rest of the building, they were able to get the rest out. They had this little uh, peephole here where you can see down to the bottom of the uh, sinkhole, it's about 40 feet down. The newest exhibit is uh, just opened up this year. It's called an American Love Affair, 70 Years of the Corvette, and uh, it goes through uh, the complete history of uh, and, and evolution of the Corvette, and uh, it's kind of interesting. And even that car right there that's kind of looks like half of it's missing, it actually runs. And so you could get in that, start the engine, and drive. And uh, it's just a, a fascinating uh, display that they have there of the uh, Corvettes. Also in there is the uh, Hall of Fame. If you look up on the ceiling, you can see all these uh, people that were so instrumental in the development of the Corvette, uh, including the racing of it. Every model of the Corvette is represented in their exhibit, American Love Affair. And it culminates um, with the uh, very last model, which is the C8. I hope you enjoyed our walkthrough of the National Corvette Museum, particularly seeing all the different models of the Corvette over the last 70 years. The question is, which is your favorite model of the Corvette? C1, C2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Let us know. Drop us a line. Here is my favorite, the C2 Coupe. In my estimation, this is the classiest car ever made. Again, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to Adventure Life with Bob and leave us a message. Thanks for watching.